All right, I want to share an invention, and um, what it's for is one of the main problems when getting off a fan blade or, or a blower wheel is rust on the shaft. Um, these shafts get really rusty, and even with a really good puller, if you don't clean the shaft, it can be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to get the fan blade off. So. What I did was I made up something really simple that just sands the shaft. Um, this is just half inch hard copper, so uh, that's 5 8 OD, but anyways, you, you want you want hard copper. Uh, this is just regular plumbing uh, half inch copper. Uh, you cut a groove in it like this with a grinder, and then I sort of... Um, uh, tapered off these edges so you can get the sandpaper in there on this end this is just a regular PEX fitting and uh, you can see the drill has kind of crushed it down which I, I guess is fine if, if it causes a problem I'll probably just braze a piece of metal in there to stiffen it up but um, anyways my um, strangely popular uh, M12 uh, palm nailer video uh, this is the motor and um, the reason I use this motor and this pulley is because uh, once this pulley is hammered on it, it's a little bit hard to tell in the video but once it's hammered on it is stuck stuck um, this shaft was all jacked up and uh, the pulley just I mean you literally had to beat it on there which is why it was such a good uh, test dummy for that uh, palm nailer video but anyways um, I gave it a couple treatments with this, and um, that's all it took. I mean, literally just just 30 seconds, if that, of this thing, and the pulley just goes on there and off perfectly. So, anyways, um, uh, I've got a I've got a pair of vice grips on this because normally you'd probably just grip the fan blade to keep the shaft from uh, spinning. Um, so you tear off a piece of paper and I sort of get it on there a little bit. And then you take that and put it on there like that. Okay, so now. Now it's on there, and um, this might go out of frame a little bit. I apologize, I'm not the best at filming. Um, but anyways, you're just going to take it. And um, you can also um, sort of... Uh, wobble it a little bit like this to make sure you're getting all areas but anyways you can see what that did to that um, shaft and here you can sort of see the difference between um, what the shaft looked like before with all of that rust and what it looks like now just just with a just a little bit of sanding you know this thing is super quick um, now, as far as this part, uh, that's not going to matter very much because because this is like a D shaft. Any rust on this is not in contact with the, uh, the the hub, so this is not what creates the resistance. It's all the rust on this this part here. Now, most of the time, when we're taking these motors off, every, everybody was saying, you know, you're going to ruin the motor with that palm nailer. Uh, you know, most of the time when we're taking off these types of motors, it's to trash them. Um, you're not trying to save the motor, but anyways, if you were trying to save it, um, and you were concerned about like grit getting down in the motor, I would just, just wet a paper towel and just stab it on there like that. And it's going to catch that grit and then just take it and wipe the grit off. Um, that's one option. Um, you could also do it upside down if you had a, 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 an extra set of hands to let all that grit fall down. But anyways, I'm going to put this in my, uh, my, my fan box uh, with all my other little gadgets 
and uh, I, I really think it'll come in handy so hopefully this will help you guys out 